Continue by the special grace of God. Uh, as we know, as as the Lord's uh, sister will say, children, let us know that we are in the presence of our God. And I pray the Lord will give us that understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, uh, but it was a surprise to me uh, when others were busy working for their God. Praising God, I don't know uh, this uh, two. This two, I don't know this. Uh, no, when I the place where they wrote, but uh, Emmanuel, Joshua, and Jonathan, the one bit uh, apart from the one between. I don't know whether those one are you not for for are you not for us? We are, you people don't both of you just feel concerned. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray God we have mercy on us all in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Maybe after today we will know why we are created. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So by the special grace of God, uh, before we go into the word of God, just as our beloved sister has said, get your Bible uh, and your book ready. <laughs> because uh, the message we are going to talk about today is a form of teaching. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I want us to pray some prayer before we take some message. I mean, take the message that God has for us. I want you to open your mouth wherever you are and begin to bless the name of God, giving thanks for allowing you to be here today, to be among the first, <coughs> to be among those who saw see the first Saturday of the month. You saw the last one by the grace and the mercy of God, and the Lord allow you also to see the first one. Open your mouth and thank God because he has done it well, children. You are not too small. Many that are even smaller than us, they are gone just some minutes ago. So, brethren, let's open our mouth. Children, wherever you are, children, either you need them or you stand up, don't sit down because you are not standing for anybody, but you are standing for your maker. And nobody is greater than your, uh, his maker. So, Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you for allowing me to be here today, to be in the midst of those the first Saturday of the month. Open your mouth and pray in Jesus' mighty name. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, I glorify you, I honor you, I thank you for everything that you put on. Oh God, my God. I honor you, I thank you. We do everything possible to close uh, at the right time, and the Lord will lead us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Children, let me patient. So I want you to pray once again and say, God, anywhere I have sinned against you, forgive me. And wash me today with your blood as I come to your presence. Let's open our mouth and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, the King of Lord, Father, Lord, anywhere, Baba, have mercy upon my soul. So, pray once again, children of God. The Bible says, What I hear you saying is what I do for you. You are going to pray now and say, Amen. You are going to pray and talk to God and say, God, in your name, Jesus Christ. I bind every distracted spirit. I bind every confusion, <coughs> every deceiving spirit that want to deceive me not to understand your word, not to gain what you want me to gain today. I bind them in your name, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth and pray. I want me to understand your word. Father, Lord, I bind that spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind every deceiving spirit of God, Baba, that want to confuse me, your children, not to understand your word. I bind that spirit of God. I find that deceiving spirit, that deceiving spirit that does not want me to understand your word. Father, I find that mighty man in a prayer. Amen. And so, Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you because this can only be you for us to gather this day. Father, we, you and your little children, we are gathered because we are all equal before you. We are all children before you. Oh, Father, every enemies of your world, every enemies of your children that want to always swear your, your children's name, Father, to come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray grant us the fourth heart. That second, first and second heart, which is the heart of the roadside, which is the heart of the stone, and which is the heart of the story ground. Ah, Father, we rebuke it now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God, our Father, that we get 30, 60, and 100 at the end of your world in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ, because we pray you answer us. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. All the time. Amen. Once again, children of God, we are welcome to the presence of God. Amen.
Amen. If you're happy, I you know, grab your hands. If you're happy, I you know, clap your hands. If you're happy, I you know, you really want to show. If you're happy, I you know, clap your hands. If you're happy, I you know, chat a man. God is good. Amen. 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 In the Lord, the beloved children of the Most High God, it is well with you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. By the grace of the Almighty God, we want to know uh, some of the reasons why God created you, why God created me. Amen. Amen. I want us to open the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. Ephesians 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. I would like uh, somebody to read from uh, there. Okay, there's someone you can just help us to read. Ephesians Ephesians 2 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship created workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works with which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are his workmanship created in what? In Christ. In Christ Jesus. Unto what? Unto good works. We want to see the reason and that good work that make God to create you and us. He said, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. I believe, for example, when uh, a, a, a somebody is employed in a place of work, they don't just employ him and he start working. But what happened? They will have to tell the person, this is the rule. This is what we do here, and this is what we don't do here. I think that is it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you hear me, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe what I said is true. For example, if a child wants to begin any school, they don't just sign him or her into the school, but after they have accepted them, they must also let the children, the pupils, or uh, the student know what they need to do and what not to do. So by the grace of God, where we read now, make us understand who we are who we are workmanship. We are created for what? Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. The good works and the purpose we want to know. So for this reason, the topic before us this morning in our today fasting and prayer said, what is the purpose of my creation? Praise the Lord. What is the purpose of my creation? I want somebody uh, in the Zoom to stand up or raise up his or her hand to tell us the topic. Somebody from the Zoom. Okay, if you know, you can stand up and tell us the topic. Yeah, I don't know your name. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, I believe as time goes on, we know everybody's name. 
Yeah, yeah the one from uh, Brother Imale, uh, Joshua and Jonathan, Some, uh, the one at the middle is raising up his hand. Please, can you stand up and tell us the topic, please? The topic is, what is the purpose of my creation? Can, Amen. Can you stand can up? Can you stand up? In the instruction of the man, the pastor, please obey. The topic is, what is the purpose of my creation? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What is the purpose of my creation? I want to ask Brother Joseph, praise the Lord. Brother Joseph, I want you to tell me this. What do you think is the reason your, your parents have to uh, put you in school, enroll you into school? So you can be educated. Do you get the question? Can you repeat it? We can't hear you, Brother Joseph. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Joseph, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you get the question, please? Can you repeat it? Yeah. Can you tell me what reason or the purpose your parents have to enroll you into any school or the school you are attending? What do you think is the purpose? To be educated. To be educated. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, Hallelujah. Amen. the purpose your mother, I mean your parents, are to enroll you into that school that you are attending, as you said, is not is in order for you not to be illiterate, but what well, to be educated, what educated, to be somebody on earth. So now we are coming to the side of God. What is the purpose of my creation? Why did God create me? It is good we know it now that we are very little. I'm including myself. What is the purpose? Why did God create me? Why did God have to create me? Am I the only one? Number one reason why God created me and you is to what? If God created you to know him. That God created the reason why God created me and you is not just to come to this world and live and do any other thing, but he created me and you to know him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, the reason Hallelujah. me and you is to know him. Let's look at the book of John 17, verse 33. John 17, verse 3. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I would like, brother, uh, sister, uh, amen. Amen. Okay, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, Abiola Favor's daughter. I want you to read for us the book of John 17, verse 3. I read in I read in Jesus, I read in Jesus' name, John uh, 17, verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the Lord true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Amen. Remember, I said, God bless you, daughter of God. Mom, God bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We, number one reason why God created you and I is because he wants us to what? To know him. Uh, where we read now, say, uh, this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. To know him. To know God. To, to know that Christ is the only way. To know that Christ is the truth. To know that without Christ, there is no, uh, life does not have what many. Many people today, they don't know, they don't know God. The reason why they don't know God. 
is because they don't know their purpose, the purpose of God created them. So today, my beloved children of God, the Lord is telling me and you, which is number one reason why he created us, is that we, you and I, should do what? Should know him. Should know him as his God. To know him as his own God. So this is why God created me. This is one of the purpose God gave me, brought me into this world. Not to come and know another gods. Not to come and serve another gods. Not to come and bow down to another god. But to him alone that is God in and God what indeed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So children of God, you get it now. I want somebody, I may not be measuring it, but if you know it, I want you to raise your hand and tell me, Number one purpose why God created you is what? So, as, uh, okay, but I see Brad Bright now. Brad Bright is your soul. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. The number, Go ahead. The number one reason why God created us is for us to serve Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Number one reason why God created me and you now, as our brother has said, is to serve him. Because you cannot serve who you do not know. You cannot serve. The reason why those people cannot serve Jesus Christ, they cannot serve God, for example, the Muslim or so ever, is because they don't know God. If they know God, they will serve him. For example, right now, your mother and another person is, is standing. If they ask you whom you follow, you will not go and you will not follow the person who you have never seen that is standing with your mother. You will only say, No, this is my mother, and you will follow what you will follow her because it's whom you want to you know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, what are we saying? Hallelujah. You cannot serve the person you don't know. The first reading before you can serve this God, you must first of all know Queen. So, children of God, number one purpose why God created you is to know him. Because, as I said, if you do not know him, you cannot serve him. The reason why you are here now is because you have known that God exists. Praise the Lord. And I thank God for your life, and I pray the Lord will perfect that that concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, because of time, Number two reason why God created us. Number two purpose of my creation, of your creation, sister, uh, <coughs> every children here, including me, because I am a child also like you before him. Number two reason is that God created you to love what? To love him. Number two reason, purpose, God created me and you is to do what? Is to Love him. Amen. In the book Amen. of Deuteronomy chapter 6, 5 to 6. Deuteronomy 6, 5 to uh, 6. I want somebody from the anger, uh, Sister Ego's uh, son. I can't, okay. It's just something. No, no, you come later. It's not here now. Okay, brother James. Okay, or oh, Benjamin. Okay, go ahead and read, please. Deuteronomy 6, 5 to 6, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. 6. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you, Son of God. He said in that verse 5, and, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy what? All thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. So I want to ask, uh, I want to ask now, Sister Esther Rejoice's daughter. I want you to tell me, do we is the Lord expecting you and me? To only love him with all our heart, without our soul and might. Oh, 
We should love him with all our hearts. Is it only with all our hearts or hearted? No, all, with all our strength and our own our hearts. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to ask Sister, uh, okay, uh, another person, uh, Sister Choma, or, uh, okay, uh, uh, is it Chiso? Okay, Chiso, okay. Sister Chiso, if we love God with all our hearts, without loving God with all our might and soul, is it complete? Yes, sir. No, yes, no sir. Amen. So, what do we need to do then if you said no? You have to love, love God with all your heart and soul. And with what? Love, love God and we have to love God with all your heart and soul. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So, if we love God, we say we love God and love God only with our heart, without loving God with our soul, with everything that we have, do you have money? You are expected to love God with your money. Do you have cars? Do you have a, a mansion? Whatever you have, you are expected <coughs> to love God with it. You are not expected to remove some of them because nobody is called complete person if he doesn't, if he have eggs without hand and leg. It's not a complete person. Praise the Lord. You want to bring you here? You want to see them here? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I said, you cannot call somebody, this person is a complete person. He only has eyes. He doesn't have legs. He doesn't have heads. He doesn't have uh, 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 nose. He's not a complete person. So also, if you love God with all your heart, with that also loving God with all your soul and with all your strength or mind, is not complete. So, brethren, the reason why God created us, number two, is that we should love God. He created us to love him, to come and be his representative in love and with love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, because of time, I want to ask uh, Brother, I don't know, Sister, who is uh, Brother Harry? Brother Harry, what is the number two purpose why God created you? The number two purpose that we just write and we talk about now. Love God with all your heart and strength and mind. Amen. But I mean the number two. God bless you for that. But the number two. No. Amen. Uh, Brother Samuel, mm -hmm. what is the number two a purpose God created us? Mm -hmm. Talk to them. To love him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The number two purpose is that God wants us, he created us to, what? to love him. He did not create us to hate him. And uh, many people uh, many people hate God. Because anybody who refused to know God and serve God, do what? Hate God. So, for you not to be, to, for you not to hate God, you must what? Do what? You must love him. So, because that is one of the purpose he created us. <coughs> so, number two, I mean, number three, God created you to glorify him. The purpose he created me and you is to come to glorify him, not to come and insult him, not to come and curse him, but to come and be representing in glorifying him. Are you in the school? When is it not time for teaching? Even if, if even though teaching is going on, you are expected by God, you are, God is expecting you to glorify, to be glorifying Him inside your heart, singing 
we are in the, on the Lord's side within you. Nobody knows. In everything you do, you are expected to use it to glorify what? Glorify God. Let's see it in the book of Revelation 4, verse 11. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. See what the Lord said. He said, Thou art worthy. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want somebody please to, yeah. to read. Uh, is it Sister uh, okay, Jolomit's uh, daughter or so? Can you read uh, Revelation 4, verse 11? Revelation 4, verse 11, and I read, Amen. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are, and we are created in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created. All things, including me and you. This is the purpose. He created me and you for this purpose. He don't want stone to glorify him. He wants somebody like me and you to glorify him. To be the one, he wants to hear your voice. He created me and you. He said, created all things. And for that pressure they are, we are created. For this sake, you and I, sister, don't think you are tired. That is why we want to know the purpose. Why do I even come? Why am I in this school? Why did my mother have to uh, send me this place? Why did my mother and my parents have to put me in this school? As our brother said, it is for you not to become illiterate in the world. The reason why God created you now, the purpose is, is this. The, that you will come and glorify him, represent him in glorifying God in all that you do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glorify God Hallelujah. in For this purpose, you and I, we are created to glorify God in all that you do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You must allow God to be worthy in all that you do. You must tell God is only God alone. You are not expected. That is why God destroyed the children of Israel when they go ahead and make a, a God for themselves. Because all that, nothing else is need to be glorified than God alone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, this is the purpose God created you. And you and I must not allow anything to replace us. You must not allow anything to replace you. You must not allow me to replace you. And I must not allow you to replace me. Praise the name of the Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. I come again. You must not allow me to replace your position in God. That place God place you to be glorified. He don't allow me to replace you there. That place God place me to be glorified. I must not allow you to replace me. My, my, my blessing, I must not allow it to come to you. Your blessing, don't allow it to come to me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. God created individual to do what? To glorify him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, what is the number three point? We have the purpose why God created us. Brother Divine, what is the fourth, the third purpose God created you? God created us to, to glorify Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God created us to do what? To glorify, to glorify Him. So whatever you do now, always do what? Glorify God. Because that is the purpose God created you. Amen. Amen. So we move on to number four because we have about 13. We pray I uh, will be fast so that we can do things on time. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Amen. Number four purpose why God created you and I is to do what? To enjoy Him. 
God created you and I to enjoy him. Anybody doing the will of God must enjoy God. Must enjoy God's protection. Must enjoy God's uh, 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 provision. And must enjoy <laughs> God's uh, uh, deliverance. Amen. Amen. In the book of Psalm 16. In the book of Psalm 16. Psalm chapter 16. I want us to read from, uh, I, it's supposed to, okay. All right. Okay, let's read from verse 5. 5 to 11. Okay. Yeah, if you are there, you can read. Okay, brother. I, I, I read in Jesus. Stand up, please. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 16, 5 to 11. Yes. I read, The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my call that maintains my lot. Six. The, the linings are fa falling unto me in the place, pleasant places. Yea, I have a go godly heritage. Seven. I will bless the Lord who had given me counsel, counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night season. It's, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. Nine. There, therefore, my heart is glad and my, and my glory Rejoiced, my flesh also shall rest in hope. Ten, and thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to the to see to, to see corruption. Eleven, the last verse. Thou wilt sh show me the path of life. In the pre presence is fulfilled. Fullness of joy and the right and right hand. There are pleasures for ever, ever more. Amen. 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 You see, God created you to be, to enjoy Him. Every soul, everybody in heaven now, they are enjoying God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are Amen. there enjoying God now. They don't know what is sorrow. The sun is hot now. None of them know such. That is why he said, for thou will not leave my soul in hell. Your soul, when you, when you know the purpose of God concerning you, what happened? You follow his step and at the end, you will enjoy him. It makes us understand something. He said, thou will show me the path of life. Anybody that knows the right way can never suffer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you know the right path, you cannot suffer. For example, now you are traveled to a place you don't know. When you 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 see the direction, maybe you set compass, and the compass set that you set have given you where to go. It's not easy to lose because the compass is directing you. Only the people that got lost. If the people that does it, there's no compass, no map, no light, nothing. They are just going. When you are in God, you know the path. You cannot mm -hmm. suffer. Where we, the place that will take other two days to go. Because you know the way, you will only go it under three hours. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That praises is fullness of what? Of joy. When you... When you know this purpose, you will not want to depart from the presence of God. You will know, ah, in, in the presence of God, there is fullness. I better be here. When you know the purpose of God, you will always want to remain in his presence. You will always want to stay in his presence. Because this is the purpose he created you. He said, I have set the Lord always before me. If you set the Lord always before you, 
What happened? You will always enjoy God. He will protect you. We protect your husband, your children, your wife, I mean your, your father. We protect your, your mother. We protect your, your siblings wherever they go. This is the purpose. God created me and you. He did not create us to suffer. If we must suffer, it's not for the sake of our error. We can it, only, it can only allow us to suffer for the cross. Because he too suffer for it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So God created you and I to enjoy him. So we move on. Uh, I, I said before, the one I, I could, the Lord could help me to list here, which is about 13. We may divide it because we need to understand it. Not, we don't want to rush it, but let the Lord lead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So before we go now to the next one, which is very important, which is also we can talk about if the Lord give us chance next time, is before then, which is number four we just talked about, I want somebody to tell me, uh, by the grace of God, uh, Brother Joseph, what was the last uh, point of the purpose of our creation? To enjoy God. Praise the Lord. To enjoy God. And the Lord will help us that we enjoy him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So this one we want to talk about. The fifth, fifth one is God created you and I to be what? To be an ambassador. As I said, if God permit us any time, we talk about it in full next time. Number fifth purpose of God creating me and you is what? To be an ambassador for who? For Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Brother Emmanuel, the one, uh, Sister uh, Samuel, uh, sorry if I don't know him, uh, Sister Ego's uh, song. What I just said now is the number fifth one. To be an ambassador. To be an ambassador. For who? For your mother? No, for God. Oh, to God, to God be all the glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To be an ambassador for Christ. He created us for this purpose. What is another meaning of ambassador? Who can tell me? Brother uh, Emmanuel. Okay. Okay. Just aside now. Okay. What is the meaning of ambassador? Uh, Brother Benjamin. Ambassador is like somebody in charge or a chairman. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, Brother uh, James, what is the uh, another meaning of ambassador? A leader. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another meaning of ambassador, God bless you all, is what representative. Hallelujah. Amen. Representative. Amen. Hallelujah. An ambassador is what? A representative. Representative. This one, children, I want us to listen very well. As I said, if God give us the grace next time, if we if we tarry, we may talk in, uh, in it, the character and everything in full. An ambassador is the highest rank, ranking diplomat who represents a what? A country. Who represents a country and that country, in that position of country is who? God. This is the purpose, every children, listen very well. The purpose of God creating you. 
is to represent in here on earth. And a representer do not do anything more than that one is he that's who said he is doing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Maybe, for example, right now, as Apostle is, by the grace of God, the Lord brought me and every other minister to be working with him or under him. We cannot now, by any reason, for example, we are being sent by him, by the grace of God, to uh, another country to represent him or to uh, just as Ireland branch is right now. We are not, it's not, I mean, we are not expected to set another doctrine that is out of the doctrine that we met him following. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that is yeah. what our ambassador is. And Christ that we are representing is a what? Is a holy man. The Christ we are representing is what? Is a righteous man. Now, since brother, all you children are ambassador of Christ, a one representing Jesus Christ. What do you what do you suppose to produce? What is the fruit that is seen in ambassador? Mainly, as I said, we talk about this next time. But first of all. As I said, a person sent by a state as it, it as as it permanently represented a foreign country. In the book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse twenty. Second Corinthians five twenty. Ah, uh, sister Chigozi, I did Chigozi. Can you please read uh, that place for us? Second Corinthians chapter two. I mean, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse twenty. Sister Chi Gozier, or, 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 I think it's a sister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read Second Corinthians five, verse twenty. Amen. Mm. Avoiding this, that anyone should flame us in his lavish gift, which is no. at Second Corinthians chapter five, verse twenty. Second Corinthians chapter five. Do you know Second Corinthians? I'm reading it. Okay, go ahead. I'm reading verse twenty. All right, go ahead. Why did this that anyone should blame us in? No. Oh, it's, that is not a big. Okay, brother uh, Samuel. I'm reaching Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, there we are, ambassador for Christ, as thou God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Amen. Do you see it? He said, now, children of Martin of Solution Education Prayer Ministry, I paraphrase, you are an ambassador for Christ. In Christ is light. In Christ, there is love. In Christ, there is what? There is prayer. In Christ, there is fasting. In Christ, there are, there are many things, kindness, goodness. In Christ, there's what? Gentleness. In Christ, there is humbleness. And now that we are representing him, all these things are expected to be seen you and me. As an ambassador that you are, the purpose why God created me and you is to represent him here on earth. So as sit in by his own power and grace to put in that is not in order, in order. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You are created to represent Christ in your house, in your father's house, in your parents' house. You are created to represent Christ in your school. You are created to represent Christ in church. You are created to represent Christ in supermarket. You are you are created to represent Christ in your playground. <laughs> Oh, sister, come on, let us, for example, you and your friend, you go to a supermarket, <laughs> and the friend said, hey, come, brother, big, big dummy, let us steal this thing and put, they will not know. What will you say? I am an, 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 an ambassador. An ambassador is not a, is not a thief. Mm -hmm. Ah, let us insult him. Come, on, let us insult this teacher together. Tell him, no, I am created as an ambassador. An ambassador, anything that is polluted, don't come out for me from my mouth. So I will not bring out calls for my mouth. My mouth is meant for what? For blessing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This, yeah. uh, this is the purpose, sister, children of God. Of Martin of Solution and National Primacy, and you are there. The purpose of God creating you is this to put it to join God to put this in order. Ah, come. We are getting a call. The, the lights, the traffic light is red. Come, let us go. No, an ambassador don't disobey. Mm -hmm. Don't violate the law. They, I have made understand that if the light is red, I am not supposed to cross the road. Only when it is green that I need to cross. So I will not join you to do this because it is written also, thou shalt not follow us, <laughs> multitude to do evil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is the main reason why God created you to represent it, to put this in order. You are in government. Tomorrow you may be in government. Others are embezzling money. They are stealing money. You will say, no, I cannot do this. Why? Because I am a representative, a representative of heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, you don't need to study before you write your son. Forget, if you get here, we don't do it and do it, I will... No, an ambassador needs to study hard to be able to come out with fly colors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If me, I don't join my parents to rent the house. I don't join them to take care of house. I scatter. You can't do the same. No, brother, I can't do this. I am an ambassador. Mm -hmm. I am made to to. Keep places clean, not to scatter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, I am too big now. In my in my house, I go. I can, if I finish eating, I will just only carry the dish and drop it there. If my mother and my father, if, if they care, they can go and wash it. If they don't care, let them leave it there. But for me, I am an ambassador. I am. Supposed to be a helper to my parents, not a destroyer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 A representative. This is the purpose why you and I are created, sister. This is the purpose. Others are destroying you. We be what put it is in order. This is the reason. All that don't know, I need to pray. I don't pray. What am I doing with prayer? No, an ambassador is a prayer warrior. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, I am too small to pray. Mm -hmm. An ambassador lay, as an ambassador that I am, I need to learn how to pray now from this very uh, small uh, age that I am. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I, I will you say just three years, two years, I mean, uh, three years, four years, I will you be telling me to fast. I cannot fast. No, an ambassador need to fast even right from that four years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, brothers in the Lord, because of time, 
I will, as I said before, this ambassador of it, uh, uh, issue, when we talk on it, anytime God give us the permission on his own to see most, more of the character of his, <coughs> praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of time, I want to ask some questions. The uh, one sitting, uh, uh, I don't know, the one sitting at, uh, no, no, no. okay, the, uh, at the right hand of Brother Emmanuel. Uh, I think uh, it's, uh, Minister Mekerson, right? Okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, uh, Brother Joshua and uh, Brother Jonathan. Brother okay. Amen. Brother Joshua, God bless you. Uh, please, I want you to tell us about the one we just said now, about the, the fifth one. What is the purpose? The fifth purpose why God created you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And ambassador basically, um, spreads good word around people and just uh, treat everyone as you want people to treat you to represent God. That's what an ambassador is, a representative of God. Amen. Christianity. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, God bless you. Amen. Amen. So I think that was Brother Joshua, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now Brother Jonathan, God bless you. Please, what is some of the element of uh, what an ambassador can do that we just talked about now? So can you repeat it, sir? Yeah, by the grace of God. I said, what is some of the element we just talked about in that ambassador? That we see that we can that can be seen uh, 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 in the life of an ambassador. So obedience and humbleness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Even though as that is really one of the element, one of the character of an ambassador. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So by the special grace of God, Brother Emmanuel, USA, Sister Anna's uh, brother, uh, what are some of the something we talk about about an ambassador? Brother Emmanuel. I can't hear you. I'm waiting. I can't hear you. I don't know if you are. Are we hearing there, please? No, sir. Uh, okay, I go uh, to the next person by the grace of God. Uh, all right, Sister. Okay, go ahead, Sister Jolomi's daughter. I don't know her, your name. You that is raising up your hand. What's the question? Okay, the question is, by the grace of God, what are some of the character that we just talked about that we said this is uh, what uh, an ambassador can produce? The attribute. The attribute or, yeah, or the character or the purpose. Amen. We can't hear you, but you are muted. Okay, wait. All right, go ahead. You are muted. I don't know. Integrity, integrity, and faithfulness. Amen. Praise. Amen. 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 Yeah. God bless you, beloved daughter of God, in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Integrity and faithfulness. Obedient, like our brother said before, is what is supposed to be seen in the life of anybody representing Christ on earth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So by the special grace of God, because of time, Brother, uh, uh, Brother Samuel or Sazeri. Um, it means... It means that is they is they are, they are the same like they are the same that it may be like what the, what is the question? The question the question the question was what what what's the meaning of an ambassador? What are the attributes? What are those things that must be seen in ambassador? Ambassador is that um they they will do the same thing. The same thing. The same thing. That that uh, maybe the as they say like they be um <coughs> just now you're raising your hand up togetherness. You raise your hand up, right? Together. The reason why you raise your hand up say they are togetherness. With who? With, with the uh, ambassador. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They resemble. Amen. Don't worry, get get more uh, 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 amen. As brother and uh, sister Esther rejoice song. I don't know your name. It is not the one the pastor. Amen. Did you get the question? Amen. Amen. Did you get the question? Yes. All right. Give us some answers of, uh, of the question. A ambassador is. A one that that is good and do the right thing. Amen. God bless you. And Raise I'm your hand, Samuel. If you can say some purity, honest. Did you read you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our beloved brother said, an ambassador is what is good and do what the right thing. God always do the right thing. And we also, the children of his, must do what? Must do the right thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Sister, uh, uh, okay. Amen. Uh, 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 Sister Justina, uh, Daughter, uh, Jonathan Kuruma. God bless you. What did you understand about uh, ambassador that we're talking about? The fourth, uh, the, the fifth purpose of God creating us, of, of uh, the fifth purpose of our creation. Is this just Sister Justina? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Tell us what you understand. And what what was the question, sir? The question is the fifth purpose of, of our creation. We're talking about the ambassador right now. So, what is some of the quality that can be seen in the life of Ambassador of Christ? An ambassador is uh, a, um, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It is where well in Jesus' name. Ah. Listen very well. Okay. Okay, sir. Amen. Okay, uh, brother Imare. The one is in office, sir. Um, an ambassador is someone who carries the message from the one who sent him. Amen. An ambassador is what? Say it again, please. And let every one of us also listen to it. Right, Marlo, say it again, please.
An ambassador is one who carries the message from the one who sent him. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. An ambassador is the one that carries message from the one that sent him. That is to say, you know, Jesus Christ said, I always do what I see my what my father's doing. So also that is the life of what of the of an ambassador. That is to say, as we see that Christ is living holy, you are expected to also what as an ambassador to what living holy. As you see, Christ is living righteous. As an ambassador, we are expected to be living what righteous. Whatever we see God doing, that is what we are supposed to be producing. We see God loving, we are to what? Love one another. We see God, uh, uh, God is uh, living pure. We are expected to what? To live pure. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, all right. By the special grace of God, I don't know uh, the ones that are not called now. Amen. Okay. Brother, uh, is it Brother uh, Clinton? Clinton. It's a maybe best student. It's a maybe best student. Brother Clinton. Please, can you remove uh, what you I think is yes, your yes. Okay, can you remove what you place on your head, please? As a, no, 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 that is, that is, that is me. Brother what do you understand about the ambassador? What do you understand about the fit, uh, purpose why God created us? I understand it is that God created it, created us that we should obey Him and be glad in Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I will ask two questions more from two people. Brother uh, Emmanuel, I mean, Brother Joseph, uh, Joseph, after you, I will ask. Oh, Brother Bright and Israel and Princess also, can you on your camera so that I can see you to ask questions as well? So, Brother Joseph, God bless you, sir. Please, can you give us some of, uh, I think, I believe you understand the question. What's the question? The ambassador we are talking about. The attributes. The attributes. Oh, to be an ambassador of God, um, it's a messenger of Christ. To be a messenger of Christ. Amen. God bless you, man. I want to ask, what are the messenger, 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 what does one do to know, yes, he is a really a, a, a true messenger of Christ? Follow God's word. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Following the principle <laughs> of God, that makes you a messenger of Christ. And the Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brother Bright. Oh, I don't know if it's Bright or Israel. I don't know. Yes, sir. Amen. So, what about you? What did you understand? And what are some of the characters or attributes of an ambassador of Christ. <laughs> I hope you are not replacing the door because your camera was off. So, so can you please uh, say the question again? The question is, what are some of the elements, are some of the purpose, or some of the attributes or character, I say so many uh, ways so that you understand some of the inside, that can be seen in the life of an ambassador of Christ? Um, an ambassador does not steal. He does not. Uh, 
Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sorry, I had one more that I ask our uh, mothers. Give them a few minutes, then we go to the next uh, point by the grace of God. Sister, uh, uh, I mean, Samuel. But uh, Samuel, uh, Emma de Bobe. Sister Ego's song. Is this Samuel? Uh, is it not Brasa? Because I can see the mark is still muted. Yeah. Um, ambassador loves and she doesn't break the law. Amen. But there are some, what laws? Is it the law of God or the law of man? The law, uh, the law of God. Even though it's the law of man, but the one that is not contrary to what? To God's word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The law of man that we can break is the one that is contrary to the word of God. But the one that is not contrary to God's word, we are expected not to break it. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I want to give just a few minutes. We quickly go into Holy Communion service. And I pray, uh, I thank God for the life of all the children here. And I pray the Lord will strengthen you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I want to take quickly about a few people, not much. Okay, Sister Abosere, uh, you want to say something. And also... As, uh, also an advice to our beloved children of God. Okay, I just want to add that uh, an, uh, an ambassador is uh, is to evangelize to people. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 So, by the special grace of God, Sister Etoa Osezere, please, what's do you have to tell the children? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. As an ambassador of Christ, you have to represent Christ by your character, by your behavior. The way you speak with other in the school. Now we are all children. When you go out there, you see people are arguing for something. As a child of God, you 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 ask them, what are people arguing argue for? If they tell you the story, you will judge rightful. As a child of God, you, you represent God wherever you wherever you are. We see as as the as our teacher taught us today, as you are walking, it says that should not follow Moses to do evil. When you see a group of people are doing evil, even if they are your men, they will see you, they will tell you, come and join and say, No, I'm a child of God. I have to represent, I have to represent Christ. The Bible says we should not do evil. You will preach the word of God today. Through you, they will, they will stop that evil, they will not do it. I said, we have to represent God. Amen. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, it's time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like what our blood, uh, blood sister said, uh, children of the Most High God, we are children. I'm telling you, I love, like I always say, please, sorry, excuse me. I love these children, but I learned a lot. Even as, as the man of God was teaching, especially this ambassador, you know, it's like my understanding begins to, you know, so as an ambassador, wherever in the class, in the school, you as the God, we are like a, we're not even an ambassador representative. As we are representing God, like in the, in the, if you are representing a country, in that country you are, there's an ambassador from uh, a Nigerian ambassador or uh, an American ambassador in any way, they cannot do uh, another thing, you know, apart from what the country they are representing. That is how we are in this world. We are representing God, we are representative. That means, we have to, the person we are representing is pure and holy. What does it mean? It means that we, in the future grace of God, we have to be pure and holy. And in the class, in the school, wherever you go, you know, represent that Christ, you represent, you always talk about Jesus. You always say, you know, evangelism, is, you know, every day, every second is evangelizing, you know, evangelizing. Not only when you are taking trial, that's okay too. But, you know, the way you dress as a lady, as a woman, like uh, Sister Anna, uh, Jelome, I don't know your, your name, all these, you know, young uh, uh, boys too. The way you dress, where in the class, you know, 
two children, then maybe there's someone in the studio we have to be friends. So I said, how do you do it? Then you tell him, this is the word of God. You don't have to wear pants. You know, by that, you evangelize that God you are representing. And the way you talk. And even if you are praying, you do bad things. God said that because of a friend, you have to say the right thing, say the truth. May God bless us and give us the grace to do all. It's a lot of, you know, as a representative and say, man of God taught us. And God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, God bless you, beloved daughter of God. More grace, all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, the last one. Uh, okay, before I take the last one, uh, okay, Sister Doris. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be brief, man. God bless you. Uh, Sir? Please be brief. So okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, how to what uh, what beloved sister has said by the great and the mercy of God, as a genuine children of God, as a born again, and God has made us to be by His divinity. We all have to know that we all are the ambassador of Christ. Because when you are genuinely born again, nobody will tell you you have to obey the scripture. The spirit of God is always there for you. From the bottom of the heart of God to teach you, if it's an ambassador, it's for you to do exactly Christ like. The character of Christ, the natural fruit of the Holy Spirit, will be seen in you as an ambassador of Christ. As we are living in the world, we are forming, and also as we are genuinely born again from the heart, we are walking according to the word of God, then we are the ambassador of Christ. May the Lord bless us in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. God bless you, beloved daughter of God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please, before uh, we go to Holy Communion, I just want to ask our teacher if we have any word of encouragement to the children. Then we go into the Holy Communion. I mean, Sister Indidi, God bless you. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you, sir. God bless our beloved sister uh, for the contribution. Children of the Almighty, we heard it today. First of all, I will start from the beginning. He said the purpose of God that creates us. The reason why God creates us. Children of Almighty God, I want to tell us that we heard it well today. God created us to serve him, to worship him, to honor him. To give our time for him. I can see some of our children, we love watching game. Thank God this message today. You children, create time for God. We cannot be watching game from morning to night. Hours we are watching game. Please, we have not heard it today. Did God create us to serve him, to worship him? Our teenagers in the house, please, know you that we are not a baby anymore. There is time for you to put some pre even our messages here. Sit down and listen for it. You don't be there holding uh, all those uh, this thing, watching TV every day. For us to know that he created us to reference his holy name. Whenever they say come to pray, come to do the things of God, let us know that is the reason God created us. That your school or education or whatever thing is primary, please. As this message comes today, may God help us to be able to realize the real reason we are, we are, we are living on this earth. May Amen. God bless us all in Jesus' name. And Amen. That's the little thing I want to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide aka the shepherd and the bishop of our souls ministries worldwide